Okay, here we're going to prove that the harmonic series, which is the series from 1 to infinity of 1 over n, that that is divergent. So I went ahead and wrote out the first eight terms here of our series. So we've got the, the summation from n equals 1 to infinity of 1 over n. Again, if we put in 1, we'll have 1 over 1, which is 1. Then we'll plug in 2, we'll get 1 over 2. We'll plug in 3, we'll get 1 over 3, etc. And we just start adding those up. So, okay, the idea is, right, the numbers are getting smaller, clearly. You know, they're decreasing a half, and then a third, then a fourth, then a fifth, then a sixth, then a seventh, then an eighth. Somehow, intuitively, the idea is, are the numbers getting small enough, fast enough, so that when we add them all up, we get a finite number? Well, the answer is no, and we're going to justify that right now. So we're going to look at partial sums. So S sub 1, that's just the sum of the first term. That's just going to be 1. If we look at S sub 2, that would be 1 plus one half. Now I'm going to jump to s sub 4. That's going to be 1 plus a half plus a third plus a fourth. So again, we're just adding up the first four terms. And this is where the argument's going to come in. If I look at these last two terms, 1 third plus 1 fourth, well, 1 third is certainly larger than 1 fourth. Um, so if I add these two terms together, 1 third plus 1 fourth, it's going to be larger than a fourth plus a fourth which is 1 half. So the argument is these last two terms are going to be bigger than 1 half. So that means s sub 4, the sum of these first four terms, that's going to be larger than 1 plus, well, there's my half that I had originally. And it's going to be, we said these last two terms are larger than 1 half. And I'm going to simplify this a little bit. So there's my 1. A half plus a half, okay, you could write that um, as 1, but I'm going to write that as 2 over 2 just so we can start spotting, spotting a pattern, hopefully. Okay, now we're going to do the same thing, but now we're going to go out to the first eight terms. So we've got 1 plus a half plus a third plus a fourth plus a fifth plus 1 over 6 plus 1 over 7 plus 1 over 8. We're just going to make the exact same argument. Okay, so we said we already argued that one third plus one fourth that's bigger than a half. Well, if you look at the uh, last four terms, notice that's also going to be larger than one half, because one fifth is greater than one eighth, one sixth is greater than one eighth, one over seven is greater than one over eight. So these last four terms, right, one fifth plus one sixth plus one seventh plus plus one eighth. Those, those terms right those are going to be larger than 1 over 8 plus 1 over 8 plus 1 over 8 plus 1 over 8 and that gives you 4 over 8 or 1 half. okay so the idea again is I can and this is the basic argument I can always go out far enough in my in my series, I can always find enough terms so that when I add those together, it'll be larger than a half. So this is kind of the idea. It's like you're always adding on uh, one half plus one half plus one half. You're actually adding on values larger than one half. But this is the basic idea. I mean, so if you keep adding on one half plus one half plus one half plus one half, clearly it's going to go to infinity. So this is this is the argument. Okay. So let's again write this out. So this is one plus. Okay. There's our one half. We said a third and a fourth, that's larger than one half. And these last four terms are also larger than one half. So again, I've got my greater than there. So one plus a half plus a half plus a half, that's going to be one plus three over two. Maybe let's look at one last one. Let's look at S sub 16, the first 16 terms. Okay, so that's going to be one plus a half plus a third plus a fourth plus a fifth, sixth, seventh, up to an eighth. And then we're going to have plus a ninth, plus a tenth, eleventh, twelfth, thirteenth, fourteenth, fifteenth, up to one over sixteen. Okay, so we already said one plus up to dot 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 one over eight. We just said that that was larger than one plus three over two. You can make the exact same argument now. So one over nine is larger than one over sixteen. So is one over ten. So is one over eleven, etc. So if I add up these um, these eight terms, that's going to be larger than one half. So again, I can add on another one half, and that's going to give us one plus four over two. Okay, so. 
Um, you can check my arithmetic here that if you add up, um, say, the first 32 terms, the first 32 terms, that's going to be greater than 1 plus, well, 5 over 2. If you now go out to S sub 64, that's going to be greater than 1 plus 6 over 2. And uh, you can just extend this pattern indefinitely. So that's the idea. So, um, so as n goes to infinity, notice that S sub 2 raised to the power of n, right? That we're really using powers of, of 2 here. We've got, you know, uh, um, 2 to the 4th, 2 to the 5th, 2 to the 6th. That's always going to be greater than 1 plus n over 2. So that shows that um, this sequence, this partial sum, s sub 2 raised to the n, is also going to approach infinity. And that tells us that the harmonic series therefore diverges. So that's it. That's, that's the argument. Um, so maybe a little long-winded here. But again, this is the basic idea. You can always go out, you can always add on enough terms so that you get something that's larger than one half. And that's what we're justifying here. So that's it. That's the proof. I hope it makes some sense. And um, again, you know, I know series drive a lot of people crazy, but to me this is probably one of my, my favorite subjects in all of calculus. It's really neat stuff what you can do with it.